Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to today's devotion for Tuesday, 4th of January. The new year, I guess, starts to get into full swing today as most people return to work after the bank holiday and life starts to return to some sort of normal routine for us all. And I uh, just want to share a couple of thoughts with you this morning and these might be a little bit random but bear with me and by the grace of God I pray that he will encourage you from the word this morning. i um, just been thinking over the last few days and you know January 1st I started a, a new reading plan and the first words that I read were in the beginning God and, uh, and it really struck me forcefully as I began my readings in the beginning, God. And uh, just to en exhort, encourage you with this centrality and the wonder of, of God. And the fact that we as Christians, by his amazing grace, have been brought into a, a living relationship with him and to encourage you that 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 thought that, that God would be absolutely central to your life and, and I pray that for my own life as well that God will be central at the very heart of everything that we do in this coming year that we will not exclude him from any aspect of our lives but actually invite him in in all his fullness and love and grace to guide us and to lead us in this coming year jesus in the sermon on the mount put it this way in in matthew 6 he said but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and everything else will be added unto you and then because of that verse, the next verse says therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow for tomorrow will be anxious for itself sufficient for the day is its own trouble and, and Jesus had been reminding them in the previous verses that our Father God knows our every need and is committed to meeting those needs and, and then in that exhorting us to put our trust in him and to look to him and to seek him first in all that we do and, and I pray that for you each day you would begin the day with Jesus in his word in prayer in these devotions but you would begin the day with Jesus that you would welcome him and invite him into every day this year and pray that he would guide and lead you in that day and come to that with faith and confidence that he's done everything for you and his love is abounding towards you and you can trust in him that the words of uh, from one verse of a hymn have really blessed me as well over this last few days and uh, they're these words pardon for sin and a peace that endureth thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow blessings all mine with ten thousand beside great is thy faithfulness and, and and that verse seems to encapsulate everything pardon for sin this morning I know that God has forgiven me of all my sin through the death and resurrection of his son the Lord Jesus Christ the sinless lamb given for me my experience tells me 
that God's strength is sufficient for every day because he has never let me down. Whatever I need in that day, God, in his grace, provides. As Paul put it, Paul put it this way, didn't he? My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Today, God's strength will be made perfect in you as you look to him and as you trust in him. Isaiah put it this way, he says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord God is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation and so I'm just from these verses and thoughts I just want to encourage you but put God at the center of everything know that he has gifted you with everything that you will need for this day beginning with the greatest gift of all our salvation but then promising us that as we go into and through this day and each day this year his strength will be sufficient for us and his blessing will be upon us and not only do we have strength for today but we have bright hope certain hope full assurance of what the future holds for each one of us in Christ and the end of that is that we will go to be with him to spend eternity with him we are so blessed as Christians in Jesus and I really want to encourage you today and in this coming year to enjoy him in all his fullness and to enjoy him in all in his fullness will be to put him first in everything that you do and to involve him in everything that you do and and uh, to walk with him in step with him in this coming year and um, with great confidence and certainty I cannot say to you, as you put your trust in him, he will be everything that you will need. And his blessing will be upon you. And his goodness and his grace will abound towards you. So I just thank you for your friendship, for your fellowship. Pray God's richest blessing upon you in this year. That you'll know his, the joy of his presence and a blessed and fruitful walk with Jesus in this year and I pray you'll have a great day today and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon so God bless you and uh, may you enjoy him today and enjoy him throughout this year um, because he is good absolutely good and his eyes are towards you his love is over you is watching and seeking your best as you put your trust in him and seek him first in everything you do. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye.